so have I went live, going to my stream manager anyway. I see the red little button, so it is telling me that I am live. I don't see my session time counting up though. That's what I look out for. <laughs> oh, there you go, 31 seconds. There you go, okay. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, um... <coughs> Sorry, my throat's hurting. So, uh, as I was saying that we have some quest lines to do after we be uh, beat the next boss, and... You'll notice your one is gone from her chair, as well as this one. There seems to be a running thing in this place. Uh, I'll be talk to this one. He says the same stuff, I believe. Not sure about you, though. Yeah, you just laugh maniacally. Your one's gone. Ariana's gone. So, talk to this guy. Was it a beast? Oh. Was it a beast? Oh. Ah, he's a bit scared. He's like, what's going on? And you'll notice if you follow a trail of blood... Leads out the door. Down the stairs. And down here. Yeah, you notice she gave birth. You, yeah, um, her stomach wasn't feeling well, and you, you, you'll notice she sort of gave birth to this thing down on the floor. Which, by killing it, we kill her because they're sort of connected, if you know what I mean. And yeah, uh, so I got Ariana's shoes. It's a uh, frenzy resistance thing actually which is quite funny because frenzy is what like like frenzy is the whole thing of the area you have to go to get to that thing so yeah we have gotten our third umbilical cord that means we are 100% going to get that secret final boss use use there you go but um now uh, my friend said I shouldn't do this, but I wanted to try to get all the items in this run. So as much as it pains me to do it, um, you guys mightn't um, have the best fate. Because they all drop some sort of item, if I'm correct. Yeah, you drop, what do you drop, Molotovs or something? Punch of blood cocktails. You drop an Odin Wraith? That's, um, what is that? That's Visceral Attacks, is it? Uh, blow up your Odin Wraith. Yeah, Visceral Attacks for Quicksilver Bullets. That's handy then. And if you attack anyone in here, you'll see this guy gets all scared and won't talk to you. Oh no, I'm so sad. I never like killing him. Yeah, so I got an Odin Wraith. Wait, or was it a formless Odin? Um, yeah, no, it, no, it was a formless Odin. Because I think I only had that many. So I just four communion runes? What? That's insane. Okay, well, that's that side stuff done. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. By the way, I take a sup of drink most times I'm in a loading zone, by the way. So that's usually why I'm like, oh, uh, I have to take a drink. That's why I usually don't say it when I play Bloodborne, is because I uh, take a drink when I'm in loading zones most of the time. Or in an elevator, either one. Well, anyway. It's been, well, that took me five minutes to do, wow. 
that went by fast. Uh, okay, yeah, that was back to your man's fight. So if we go out here from where we were. I thought there was something around here. There should be a dog or something. Ah, yes. The dark birds and the bird dog. <laughs> They're still terrifying to me, like, genuinely. I don't like them whatsoever. You know what, yeah, if we go down here, you're gonna notice uh, this door is open. And then if we hop out into here, uh, we get out to someplace special. Now, if I'm right, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was 100% dead there when that happened. Ow, and Frenzy again? Wow, that's just overkill, girl. Yeah, but if I'm correct, going there actually does something good for us, so I do want to go that way. I'll try to sneak past them, maybe. It could work, maybe? Maybe, maybe. We'll find out. Sure, there's one way to find out, isn't there? And that way is this way. Okay, that's the bridge I was just on. And if you'll notice, see the, like, your one who was there, she has, like, blue stuff around her now. That means that she has my echoes. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god. I hate going into that door. I hate it so much. Well then, that's a bit of a predicament I didn't see happening. You know what, let's continue on the area and then we'll come back to that. I feel like that's a safer thing to do. Okay. But uh, these are, um, Shadows of Yarnum. You know, like the boss we fought before. Yeah, this is them. Or, like... They don't look the same, like their cloaks aren't the same, so I call these, um, trainees of Yarnum. Because they're, like, training to become, like, the new shadows of Yarnum, if you know what I mean. But, like, that's just a me thing. They're, they're, they are not called trainees of Yarnum. They also deal more damage. Just because they're later in the game though, don't worry. They're actually not that much difficult more. They're like, they're about the same difficulty as the shadows. With just the fact that you have to fight multiple at once. Makes it a lot tougher.
Yeah, that pig exploded. <laughs> you legitimately explode that pig. I was trying to look out for that. Now if I'm right down there, there's more shadows of Yarnum. Sorry, I was just concentrating to fight that pig, because they are very dangerous. <laughs> you do not want to like mess around while fighting a pig. They're th like, like they will mess you up. Like fast as well. They're not like slow enemies, you cannot take your time with them. Basically, don't muck about and you'll be fine. Okay, that's all three of the pigs gone. Got a kin cold blood and a kin cold blood. Now, um, these guys are very mean. They're in a group of four. But what you can do is you can trick them and separate this flame one from the rest of them. So that's a very big problem taken care of immediately. I also like to stay full health in this battle. You can sometimes take them away again. Like this, I think I gathered these two. Which means I only have to fight two of them at once, of course. Die. I don't like you. Good man yourself. You listened. Now that's the smart thing to do. Now that is not the smart thing to do. That's a... That, that's a smooth brain. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not expect to get that low from him. Gotta be completely honest here. Okay, yeah, perfect. This is this place. Now, if you remember, this is the one who looked pregnant. D this is uh, this is your one who was crying after we defeated Ram, and we can kill her here as well. She'll be coming up. She'll be coming up later in the game. Don't worry. Though, actually, um, the, right up in that door is the boss of this area. It's the last boss of the game. Yeah, so this is the end of the current area that we're in. 
which I think is really cool. There's also some lore to the fact that that was an Isofka blood vial, by the way. But we don't mind about that right now. We don't care about that at the moment, though. We're not hunting for lore right now. We're hunting for blood. We're hunting for the echoes. How many actually roll things do I have? Because I saw when I was going by, I had a few. Yeah, I've loaded, like, cold bloods. Range from 4s to 11s, I believe, was what I just saw. I could be wrong, though. I, I, I read very fast sometimes, and, and a lot of time I get it wrong. Hi, buddy. I think I'm actually getting pizza today for dinner, so that's lovely. <laughs> Just random- By the way, I do not say anything relating to the game that often. I just spit out random facts. Hopefully some of them are about the game, but you know. Most of the time I just yammer on about what, I, what I'm currently dealing with. Okay, yeah, that's it. Huh, I didn't think I'd get through the area that fast. Not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna take me 50 minutes to get through. And I'm only at 15 minutes in. So that took me about f 10 minutes to do. Hmm. Turns out there was a lot less than I thought there was. You know what, let's go try and fight this last boss. No, not gonna lie, usually I never die to her. I've never actually died to this boss. So, if the, if I do, well, uh, yes, I am much lower level than I usually am, so that's probably why. If I do, it's just convenient anyway, because I it, it, it brings me to where I want to get back to. Everyone, say hello to Murgo's wet nurse. She wields uh, blades, as you've noticed, probably. She wields six or eight, I'm not exactly sure. Six. Oh, my back it feels very weird at the moment. Why? I need to, like, itch it. Oh, that's better. Okay. Ow, that hurt. Now, when she does that, she teleports away. Which can lead up to her doing a lot more difficult attack. Which I hate. This is the attack. I usually run in circles for this fight because it just runs out after a certain amount of time. Um, so what she does is makes like duplicates of herself that all attack you. And I hate this attack. It terrifies me a ton. I don't think you have to do anything to end it. Um, no, okay. That was actually a long one.
Yeah, but not gonna lie, when I fought, first fought this boss, I was sort of let down. I thought there was gonna be a, a second phase that was that would like wreck me. Uh, yeah, but no, this is the boss. She doesn't have any um, frenzy attack. She doesn't do anything that special. She just does a bit of twirling. By the way, this is classified as a great one. So this is not beast or anything else. This is classified as a great one. Ooh, I'm sad I couldn't get behind her for this attack. That's usually some good amount of hits. Is it still gonna summon her stuff? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay, but the, actually, this battle, I don't know why, but it takes forever to say that it's complete. I'm always standing here for like a minute or two. Yeah, and then it says it. It's so weird. And there you go. I got another third of umbilical cord. See, this, it, there is a four in the game. I was not lying. Yeah, another third of umbilical cord. Use. Yeah, okay. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'm gonna also use my other stuff, just so I can, like, have a bit of stuff for the upcoming thing. Yeah, so there's technically two bosses left. One's a final boss, and then the other one's, like, an, like the secret final boss. But uh, I will not be doing those just yet because I do not want to. Because if you beat the game and get the ending before you do um, the DLC, you are going to have a very, very difficult time in the DLC. The game scales with every new game plus and it just gets like the, like the DLC just gets too much if you wait. If you wait until New Game Plus 60 with DLC, you're going to get your ass kicked. Royally. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is on fire now. Good hunter, Dawn get Yeah, so she just said, Gearman awaits you at the foot of the great tree. So basically, you have to go see Gearman. What? Oh, five? Boom. Okay. Wow. That was a lot, actually. Jesus. Um, can I buy this now? Oh, I can. Yeah, look here for 60. There's a blood rock. You know what? I'm actually gonna use one of these just so I can get 60. I know what. I oh, I just took a set of it. Whoops. Yeah, blood rock. Oh my god, my frenzy meter, meter, meter nearly went up. Oh, yeah. So when you spend insight, your frenzy meter goes up, by the way. I probably should have stated that by now. Uh, I'm gonna take one more because if you uh, run out of them, the doll goes back to sleep. Which is never fun because I love the doll. We love the doll in this household. You're not allowed to say otherwise. I will kick you out. And don't think I'm joking. I will kick you out. <laughs> My nose is whistling. That's very annoying. Ah, uh, whatever. More twins. Got any more twin? Are you joking? Christ. Yeah, so the Tanitra is my first plus 10 weapon. Oh, whoa. See? Oh, there was stuff there. Oh, no more stuff. I'm just going to swallow through these again, just to make sure. No, okay, yeah, we have a really OP one on that, then. Kirkhammer. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that brings up a whole 20 in, in in each stat as well. 
That's a little bit insane. I knew it. Oh, pff, that brings up by like nothing. Well, yeah, whatever. Oh, that's a bit. That's something. That is something indeed. See? This is why you always check your stuff. By the way, these are good blood gems. Those are really good blood gems, usually. Do, 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 do. Okay, drop down here. Acquire 40 blood vials. Okay. Uh, and then... Wait, what happens if I curtsy towards the doll? Oh, she bat. I mean, sorry. If 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 I use a respect jester, not uh, not curtsy. Yeah, so that was Murgo's loft, wet nurse, and everything else. But. You guys might be saying, but Josh, what about the... What about that one place that we saw when you went down the lift? And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show you that there now. I didn't actually forget about it. Okay, I gotta jump out of this. What the hell? How did I miss? How did I miss? It's so stupid. Uh. By the way, I consider pure RNG whenever you 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 can even fall into that lift. I just actually messaged a person because I know I because because I don't think they wanted to miss this stream and they haven't been on yet, so I just messaged them. That could be a problem. Aha! The lift is back up. Probably because I died before it got to all the way down. Okay, I will run. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just walk out of it. Why? 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 I don't get this. What's going on? <sighs> I hate this game. So much. I love the way I got a first time as well. But then from now on the game's like, oh no no no, you're not getting that. It's so irritating. Well, anyway. Oh, come on. I can get this. I know I can. I also need to go back and finish Aline the Crow's questline. <gasps> oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I can't die. I cannot die. Holy shit. Holy crap. Okay, I got- okay, I killed the first one. Uh, but here's the thing. Um... They're never alone. I think there's two more. Yeah. There's two together. As well, so that's the worst part. Oh. 
Holy crap. No, I'm not gonna lie, that like this is really scaring me. I hate these guys. No! What? Oh no. Heal, 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 heal. Okay. Who? Oh my god. Oh, that 10 pebbles. That was close. That was close. Oh my god. Uh, by the way, uh, minor spider warning. They have human faces. It doesn't count. Or is it worse then? Eh, yeah, you know, who cares? I gave you a big enough spider warning in the other episode. And I also did tell that there would be a tiny bit more. And by the way, this one room is that tiny bit more I was talking about. There's no more spiders be uh, beyond this. So, it's good for you. It's good for you guys. Okay. Now, what you want to do is come down here. Come over here. You see there's a hole there. We'll drop down that in a minute. But what you want to do is you want to come over here and pull the lever. We're going to be getting to what that does in a minute. Don't worry about it. Okay, you know when I said that was it for the spider warning? Apparently I lied. And that is the last one of those we'll have to deal with in this world. Oh my god. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. And you know what we get for coming down here? For defeating that? We get a choir bell. Which heals other people. Yep. I'm not kidding you. You get a choir bell. Which heals others in multiplayer. Not yourself. Not yourself, don't get me wrong. It does not heal you. It heals others. Yeah, so uh, right here was where that thing we dropped was being held. And you will see there is a lot of Great One's Wisdom and everything else around here. Like, that was, like, one of the biggest great ones in the game. If not the biggest. Okay, no, it isn't. It is not the biggest, but it is one of the biggest. Oh, welcome. I can see someone's viewing. La <gasps> Did I not open this door? What? Um. Um, how do you get that key again? I need to go back into Mikolash's arena. I, I think the key is in the arena somewhere, and I ca and I didn't find it for some reason. Uh, turn back on low power mode. How did I miss that? What the hell? Uh, wait, so... I have... 48... 
and that gives me 10 to 58. I got 58. Nice. That's very good, actually. I can nearly afford to buy another blood rock. But also down here, there's also a blood rock. <laughs> Which I'm going to be using to get my uh, Kirk hammer up to 10 as well. Where am I? Oh, I'm here! Oh, I'm here! Perfect! This brings me back to what I wanted to do. Yeah, so you remember we dropped it down. And as I said in an earlier episode, we would be coming back to the room with all the pits. And this is that moment. So after you drop it down, and only after, that elevator appears here. This one right here. And if you go down it... It's a long elevator now, don't forget. As you're coming down, you might see that uh, right next to the cage that I'm on. That thing. Yeah. That is the thing with the most health in the game. And I don't remember its name. It doesn't attack you. It just looks at you weird. Uh, there's a long ass tail. And what you have to do is make contact. Now, you'll remember a few episodes back when I was doing the Upper Cathedral Ward. You'll remember that I said that I'll need this. Because if you don't have this, you literally cannot get this item, even by killing it. But if you make contact for long enough... It's about a minute, I think. Or it's five. Either one! Um, <laughs> yeah, so we actually have like basically nothing left in the main story besides a couple of besides I think one thing to tie up and the final boss one side quest and the final boss that's it I believe because that should be fun now um you get a choice at the end of the game which ending you get if you say to end the hunt or whatever it says, you will... Oh? Yeah! Okay. Yeah, there you go. I got the moon rune. That's basically the biggest one of the... Uh, three Blood Echoes ones. And... If you kill this, you do get another item. It's that. Uh, by the way, this enemy has the most health in the game. <laughs> you will not find an enemy with more health I'm... Okay, like, unless a boss? Wait, do bosses even have this much health? Like, genuinely, I don't know. Because, like, because, th like, this is a lot of health. How Wait, how much of fully charged Kirk Hammer do? Fully charged Kirk Hammer does 876. Fully charged Tenetris does 601. So it actually is less. Whoa, wait, let's change then. And a one, and a two, <laughs> and a one, and finally, oh, I thought it was going to be done, whatever, die, die, Six. you get living, th living string from it, it's, Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna reawaken now because I don't like walking around in here. It's so creepy to me. Like I literally have shivers down my spine now. I'm like, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm right here. I'm I'm in, I I'm in Mikolash's area, so I might as well look around. But I don't know where I missed the key. Cause I I remember always coming in here and like I had the key. Like I know I have. So I, like, don't know where I missed it, is the thing. It could be anywhere. It could, it could literally be anywhere. 
Or it mightn't even be in here. I don't know where to get it, genuinely. But, like, I've been at both the sides of the door, so it's not the... Found it. <laughs> I found the key. <laughs> well then, I'll put an end to that anyway. Uh, let me take this. Where's it? Oh wow, I have, a, I have an 11 too. Use. Perfect, okay. Should be able to afford a level up or two in a while. Uh, let me find my way down now. Oh god, okay, that was a lot more stressful than I wanted it to be. I was actually worried there, because I don't know where I left that, and I'm not one to miss up keys, especially, out of everything. Oh god, not you. Ow, I don't like you guys. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like, ashamed of myself when I miss an important item, like a key, because, like, I've played this game so many times. And, like, I knew what was in here because I remember finding it my first time playing and not knowing what to do with it. Yeah, but if you come out here, you open this. And if you... By the way, if you have not dropped the thing in that cage, you're going to have a hell of a hard time in here. You get, like, frenzied instantly. And, oh, let me tell you, it is not easy. It is not easy nor fun. To get frenzied in like instant. I remember like having a heart attack my first time playing. Okay. No one has actually messaged yet, which is surprising. I expected one of one I I I I expected three people to message. But that's about it. <laughs> because I know three people. Oh, my, my chest is like hurting. Ow. I don't have no clue why either, so that's fun. Yeah, so I believe I've now shown literally everything except the final boss. And, of course, the bloody Crow Canehurst, which I still have to defeat, which I'm going to try to do now. If not, oh man, am I going to farm so much off camera. Very I'm, I'm, look, I'm not kidding. If I don't get it done today, I'm going to be farming so, so much off camera. You would not believe <laughs> how much I have. Like, it's, it'll be insane. I can guarantee you. It'll be an insane amount, anyway. Uh, fortify a weapon. What? What's wrong? I need blood echoes. No! <gasps> no, I need blood echoes. Are you joking? Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, if I come into Cathedral Ward. Oh, I hope killing them didn't change anything. I hope killing the two bosses I've killed didn't mess up the quest line. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh no, could it have? I doubt it. I doubt it. I've never done her quest though, that's the thing, so I have no clue. I looked up like three minutes of her quest, and that's it. Oh, Crow Feather Garb won by Aileen Crow. I mean, I'm not that bothered if I did miss it because, like, I get the item I wanted. Oh, by the way, it's nearly- Oh fuck, I forgot you were there. It's nearly daytime, by the way, so everything's a bit brighter. I don't think anything else has changed except for, like, things look brighter. But, like, I don't think things have literally gotten brighter. Wait, are the giants awake again? Are they still asleep? No, they're still sleeping. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I was just saying, because, like, it's daytime. You know, so... Yeah, no, he's still here. I can guarantee you that, guys. He is still here. Oh, Tomb Prospector stuff, wow.
Actually, Tomb Prospector. Do is is there more Tomb Prospector stuff or is it? Oh, oh. the graveyard. Where is it? Whoa. Whoa, Gascoigne is a beast. Uh, Executioner. Oh, that's probably what it is. Okay, and... Oh. I mean, the most mismatched pieces of armor ever. Whatever, but they have the best looking stats. Because this guy likes doing blood, thrust, and just damage. Okay, dick. Question is he going? Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's still damaging himself. I'm waiting for the right time, I'm very nervous. I want no, I want no, I want no. Where's it? Oh my god. Whoa, that's a big one as well. That's like. That's the one I had? That's like a tuned. Um, let me put back on my clothes. Uh, blindfold cap. Choir. Where's choir? Oh, choir. Fire. Just as arcane is a lot of the la uh, late game. I just like to keep it on. No matter. You, I don't seem to be apt for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. Hmm. Here. This oh. too is. Yeah, she dies now. You can't go on like this. You were gonna die anyway. Yeah, so she gives me the crow hunter badge. Wait a second. Did I get the power? Okay. 
I did get the powder keg. Okay. Whew. I was making sure I did. What's the hunter one actually? Purity symbol of the executioners. Radiant. Stamina recovery speed. Oh wow. I've never gotten that because I've never done her run like that. She give she doesn't give you that if you kill her. Uh, by force. You 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 can fight her anytime you meet her. But she does not give you that, I can tell you that. Okay, we're actually at 51 minutes, so we're nearing the end of the stream. I'm not exactly sure what I could do to end it. Um, Because I want to think of something big, like I don't just want... I don't just want random thing to show up and be like, wow, it's done, wow. You know? It's boring. Oh, uh, wait, what's my biggest, like, physical defenses overall? My clothes. Oh, God. Wait, where's gas going? Oh, that's even worse than the executioner guard. Once again, the biggest mismatch of clothes ever. So I might as well go out and see Gasco in for the last few minutes. I doubt I'm gonna beat him. Like... By the way, the final boss, if you haven't seen, is... is what I'm gonna get from the umbilical cords. Good hunter. Now... you will die. Forget the dream. You will be from this... Now, if I would have said refute, I mean, uh, submit my life there, what I did for all the umbilical cords is worthless. Dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Yeah. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Oh, I do feel like that's a Smash Bros. like splash screen entrance. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Yeah, you see, he's a bit of a limp, but he is not actually in a wheelchair. Not for good, anyway. Might be after I'm finished with him. Ooh. I'm just being careful because I actually don't know every one of his attacks. I've never, I never really fight him. I usually submit my life because it's easier to get to a new game plus like that. Yeah, so Gearman, the first hunter, is his title because he was the first hunter. I know, what a shot, right? Okay, that was a lot of everything that just happened. Game and you're old.
Yeah, um, hunters are easy to parry. Yeah, he's now basically a bit stronger. He still got parried, so it's not that bad. He's hard to parry in his first phase, by the way. That's why I wasn't trying to. Oh, that's why I couldn't shoot. I have no bullets. I saw a message come true, but I can't see it. What the hell, bro? That might have killed me if he caught me with that one. Oh yeah, he does a bit of cool arcane stuff. And he is once again stronger. But it doesn't matter, he's dead. Oh, it's cool. Hello, cool. How are you? Um, that was just the final boss of the game. <laughs> Well, that is, unless I unlock the final boss of the game. Yeah, really. Uh, Gearman, the guy in the wheelchair, was the final boss of the game, and that person right in front of me is the secret final boss of the game, which I unlocked. Everyone, welcome Moon Presence. Which nearly everyone in the community would say is a bit of a letdown after... After Gearman. There's not much it does. Oh. Yeah, Moon Presence. Okay. I was planning to die to him anyway, because I don't want to beat the game yet. Oh, wow, Moon Presence. Lovely design. Mwah. Yeah, so I was planning to die because I want to do the DLC and the chalices before I actually beat the game. So that's the reason I wasn't, like, trying to dodge. Because I didn't want to beat him. Like, genuinely. There was no reason for me to beat him. But, oh, by the way, uh, when you... Uh, so, wait one second. Let me check by right, seeing whispers. I can't see. Uh, let's go, Moon Present Marisa. No, uh, Orphan of Koss is the final boss of the DLC. I can buy the Burial Blade that Gearman used. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, so Orphan of Cost is the final boss of the DLC. Yeah, yeah. I actually got that messed up as well first time. I was expecting to find him. Uh, yeah, so, um, <laughs> you've missed a good bit. Uh, I got this, which brings my stamina recovery up, which I should probably put on. Uh, the vile HP recovery. Ooh, that's, that's very good. Yeah, but, um, uh, cool, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm gonna go. <laughs> I have, like, done everything I wanted to do today. Yeah. <laughs> you did, sadly, I know, right? A 
tumble of rock, you know. Ah, oh, wait, my phone just shut off. Damn it. Ah, uh, one second. Yeah, you made it. That is the most important thing. Okay, everybody. That is going to be it. I'm so glad you all enjoyed. Uh, this is the end of the base game series. Next, we will either be moving on to either DLC or the chalices. The bento box. Oh, goodbye, bento box. Okay, well. Let's chat. Thank you. Oh, I just noticed. Uh, thank you, ben uh, thank you, the bento box for the follow. It just came true, actually. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for an episode of Minecraft, and then the day after we will either be doing chalices or the DLC. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know which yet. Oh, finally, your chat's loaded. I can see the smiley face. <laughs> Thank you, Bento Box. It's a pleasure. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, I really don't know what the problem is with the chat. I have no clue. Okay, well, okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.